Hi, maybe you already know that my formal education and day job are computer related, so of course I was curious and interested in uh, following the what's going on, the latest trends, and of course that also goes for the development of AI or LLMs, large language models, and this video is about uh, one experiment that I did related to, to that topic and I'd like to share it. In 2023, I started an experiment. I wanted to see whether a fully AI-generated website could pass as a human-made and interact on social media as a real website. I didn't finish it, but still wish to share it here. The data is now almost whole two years old but I think it is relevant to save and share it as I uh, do more up-to-date articles and videos on that topic. I've been working with computers and amateur programming since before the internet. When the internet came, I was curious to make websites and uh, figure that out. By the time Dreamweaver was uh, older age, I had already moved on to networks and stopped the web development. Many years later, in 2015, I decided to build a website for my notes. I had to catch up and see which tools are good for the job. Mobile friendly was already a very important aspect, uh, to name uh, one change from, <laughs> from my early days. I opted for WordPress as the least bad options, option and I still think it's the best after having tried and compared countless alternatives, both dynamic, database-driven and static, pure HTML ones. And so, so Bike Gremlin was born. <laughs> after uh, a year or two after that, I built a few websites for some friends who were just starting their, bu their businesses. And unlike Bike Gremlin, where my goal was to share knowledge and information, and get corrected where, when I'm wrong, of course. With these sites, uh, one of my main goals was, of course, to rank for given keywords and help my friends make some sales. They had some very good articles, but still, my main goal was to rank, not to share information. I did all that pretty well when it comes to ranking and Google. Buying Gremlin websites were gaining thousands of visitors each day from Google search and my friends were getting calls and making sales when people googled for services they were offering. Then in 2023 AI boomed, improved, perfected, it allowed people to make thousands of articles in days without any hard work or expertise. Sure, SEO content writers had been at it for years already. You can see my article about the SEO scourge, uh, ironic a bit, I'll link it in the description. But uh, this was a whole new level of stupid, I would add. I saw the huge power and, I must say, threat of LLMs and AI in general and wanted to see how powerful it has become at the time. Google reacted to that by practically killing website ranking and moving the entire internet towards a handful of large corporate websites like Forbes to name one and Reddit. To be fair, uh, Google didn't go full retard. <laughs> the sites I built had their Google traffic cut by 30 to 50 percent, not totally annihilated like some shill and shady websites uh, did. So Google didn't do a horrible job, just pretty bad. <laughs> On uh, that I made uh, what killed the open internet uh, video that I will uh, link to in the video's description if you are interested to see more details. And that has been getting a lot worse from month to month. So I found all this pretty ironic. By Gremlin sites uh, are what Google has been telling us they want to see rank highly, informative and helpful articles well written by an expert in the field, 
and uh, for more details on that you can see the article uh, is by Gremlin a reliable source of information I'll also put it in the video description however that also uh, tickled my curiosity could I build a website with minimum effort using just the AI tools will people believe it and interact with it on social media <laughs> could they get it to rank could they make its articles be at least okay if without any soul <laughs> is my SEO knowledge still relevant for this decade there was a way to find out I registered a new domain unrelated to by Gremlin set up a WordPress website and an anonymous writer to simulate the, the SEO content writers who aren't real recognized experts on the topics they write about. For the experiment, I didn't want to bother my friend Masha for the visuals and the UI and UX, nor to do it myself. I deliberately wanted to rely on cheap online tools. First things first, I made a logo uh, and I did that by asking perplexity.ai what is a good logo designer and then got a recommendation and went to logo.com I picked one of the template themes for WordPress website and did some very slight alterations using the colors and logo generated by the just mentioned AI logo creator in January 2024, I subscribed to the paid ChatGPT uh, version to make articles for the AI experiment website be as good as AI was at the time. The good. It was surprisingly good. It got a bit more stupid at the time of recording this, but that's a topic for a separate video or an article. I could give it links to some of my articles and ask it to copy my writing style. The output is of a decent quality. Sure, it needed a bit of touch up but nothing major. Some paragraphs were even better than I would have come up with. Really scary. The so-so. Having said that, after about a dozen articles I could see a pattern. The style felt repetitive, so to speak, even if the topics differed. I'm still not sure if that is good or bad. Some uniformity and standardization can be good, but over a certain degree, McDonald's built a junk food empire on that <laughs> food for thought, <laughs> pun not intended. The bad. Uh, with some paragraphs, usually at least one in every artic article, it was clear that they weren't written by a human expert in the field. I've also noticed patterns like using the term in conclusion used way too often for practically every article. And uh, this particular aspect is now at the time of recording this fixed at least for chat GPT. So I still uh, had to do some minor edits. That took, of course, a fraction of the time needed to write a whole article from scratch manually, so to speak. Still, instead of just copy pasting and taking less than five minutes per article than five minutes per article, I spent about 30 minutes per article to do some uh, extra minor edits, and that was still a huge time and effort save compared to spending four to 40 hours per article. Over 20 hours is my average. The question still stands. Will this be good enough for Google and for visitors? It would take uh, dozens of articles and at least uh, months or uh, maybe years to see what Google thinks of the robot website. And uh, the same goes for human, human visitors. So a social experiment to boot. The, the website I built had no contact form or contact information whatsoever. The author was anonymous too. I wasn't using an alias, but uh, made it really be anonymous saying that. 
visitor comments uh, were also disabled for the entire website. People or companies wouldn't have known how to contact the author, ask questions or comment on any articles. Would this have driven uh, people to publicly uh, comment on social networks, forums, etc. and provide more backlinks to the website, thus improving its ranking? <laughs> I didn't know, but I was curious to find out for a while. Uh, answering visitor questions is more helpful to the visitors, but apparently not very helpful in terms of website ranking. Uh, not at the time of my experiment start and not even now at the time of recording this. To, I've also created a Google alert to notify me whenever the new project is mentioned. Of course, since I gave up on the experiment, this was of no practical use. Giving up. I usually see things through, even if it takes years. However, this was a very rare exception where I simply gave up. Why? There are several reasons. First, it felt empty. Writing articles like that was not fulfilling, not inspiring. It felt like getting it done, like throwing out the trash or making a fast crappy meal instead of cooking something delicious with a bit more effort. Next reason, I saw it done on a mass scale on the internet, with success across multiple websites and domains. So. No need to add a 101st experiment to boot. In 2025, apart from countless SEOs bragging and showing graphs, uh, a social study was performed on Reddit too, which is irony, ironic since Reddit had started with bot and fake accounts until it gained popularity. <laughs> that's, a, that's a separate topic. And now Reddit has a million dollar deal with Google and is allowed by Google to use uh, AI to automatically translate all discussions to any language without any penalties from Google that other websites would face if they did that. So uh, they, uh, the experiment was made uh, by faking uh, using an AI to act like a person on Reddit to write comments and answer comments and so on and Redditors were fooled and it looked like, uh, like they were discussing with a human. Final reason was for giving up on the experiment was that it felt wrong. I can't put my finger on all the exact reasons beyond the rational ones that I could list and mentioned. It just felt wrong to commit my time and effort to doing what I had planned, despite my curiosity. It, it wasn't even laziness, it just it felt wrong. Did I document it? Well, even though I gave up, I saved most of the articles <laughs> and they seem, seemed worth preserving. Uh, they are explaining uh, mostly basic technical stuff and terms in a short, clear way. I copy-pasted them and republished them on my computer-related website. They are uh, listed as uh, Ghostwriter AI author. So right from the start, uh, I made a note and disclaimer on every article that it is written by, by an AI with, with my supervision and edits, removing any mistakes, but still AI written. And uh, it's uh, really, really scary that uh, they are, you, you can look, I can link, uh, I will put a link to all those, uh, index of all those articles uh, in the video description so you can see for yourself how they, they are far from bad, that's scary. And uh, this experiment has helped me learn how to use LLM and AI tools to make my work faster and easier but uh, without reducing the human part. For example, spell checking, icons and formatting and similar things that is a topic for a separate video or an article. The experiment also showed me how scarily human-like AI can be, but in the end I have decided to not go ahead and build another AI website and I don't like the idea of letting robots do my writing for better or for worse. 
I wrote also an article related to this called the SEO LLMs and the death of the open internet and I will also link that in the video's description. Now there are about 27 uh, uh, AI written articles on my computer website. Uh, those are the ones I saved, mostly short to the point discussing computer hardware. Again, this may sound, sound ironic and perhaps even hypocritical, but uh, uh, while I see no use in saving the whole fake website, saving and publishing the articles publicly can show the quality or the lack of it, of the AI work and all the nuances. Also, I find those articles to be helpful in defining certain hardware specifications and uh, with the sketches and photos I added to those articles, I'm even happy to link to them when uh, I'm explaining stuff and someone asks me a question. And if that's not irony, I don't know what is. <laughs> Go figure. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video to be thought-provoking. If you have any comments or questions, uh, I would suggest you use the biogramming.net forum. And uh, if you like uh, what I'm doing, I must say that I do plan to make uh, mostly <laughs> bicycle and cycling related videos and articles. And uh, But I also do other things that I'm interested in and that I want to share, like, like this case. So that's... Uh, uh, what, what I can offer and you can go to bygramin.com to see the full indexed list of all my videos and find what interests you so you don't have to watch every video I make it's uh, my work is not about entertainment more about sharing thoughts ideas and education yes that's that's the right term for it so thank you very much for watching again and maybe I'll see you in some other video Cheers. Stay cool.